In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to reset DTCs when your check engine light shows up. I'm going to show you how to reset the throttle position and how to reset the ECM after a big engine build. To do this procedure, you need two tools. One, an SCS connector, part number 070PZ-ZY30100, and also a jumper wire. This procedure assumes you've already removed the battery cover. Lift up here to pull this little connector up. This is your DLC. Remove the cover from this connector. Under here on the front, there's a little tab. Get under that with something, and that cover just slides right off. Connect your SCS connector to the terminal. At this point, you can read any DTC codes. Make sure the bike is on engine run. Flip your ignition switch on, and you should be able to read your DTC code here on your check engine light. I've got two DTCs stored, two long flashes, one short flash, that's the first code, and one long flash, and two short flashes, that's the second code. The two long flashes and one short flash has to do with the O2 sensor. The two short flashes and one long flash is that fuel injector. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the ignition and then within five seconds, unplug this and re-plug this back in. Flipping the ignition on, disconnecting the connector and reconnecting the connector. And you should have your confirmation flashes right here. Everything's good, it's been reset. And switch the ignition off. To initialize the ECM, connect your SCS connector, go to full throttle, hold it there, switch the ignition on, and hold the throttle for at least five seconds. Three, four, five, and release that throttle. That will reinitialize the ECM. On the left side of the motorcycle, locate the engine oil temperature sensor. Peel back the rubber cover. To remove this wire, press up under here where my pointer finger is and pull straight. Short these terminals with your jumper wire, just like that. Flip the ignition on, confirm that the check engine light is flashing, and then within 10 seconds, pull the jumper. You'll see confirmation beeps. That has reset the throttle position. Connect your oil temperature sensor back on and replace the cover. The last step is to remove this connector and put the cover back on.